LDL Cholesterol Summary, Getting Acquainted with LDL Cholesterol The low-density lipoprotein cholesterol or bad cholesterol in layman's term is our point of discussion. So what more do we need to know about it aside from what it is, bad? LDL cholesterol is a kind of lipoprotein that also acts as cholesterol carrier in the blood. So what makes it bad? The LDL cholesterol has the tendency to build up on the walls of the blood vessels suppressing flow of blood over time. Eventually the hardening of the arteries will result in a heart attack or stroke. So how do we know how much LDL cholesterol is present in our blood? The LDL cholesterol test is advised to let you know your LDL numbers. The test is done using a blood sample usually collected from a vein in the arm. This is a process which called venipuncture. LDL and other lipid profile measurements done at home using home cholesterol test kits requires only about a drop or two of blood samples taken from the fingertip. The result, regardless where the test was done, is used to recognize your risk of having heart disease. While these tests give you the numbers of other kinds of cholesterol in the blood, the LDL cholesterol level is mostly used by health practitioners as basis for treatment plans. When should one undergo such a test? LDL cholesterol level can be found out by undergoing a lipoprotein profile. It is basically a cholesterol test that will give results not only regarding your LDL cholesterol level but also the total blood cholesterol level, HDL cholesterol level, and triglyceride level. The profile is highly recommended to individuals above 20 years old or those who have been previously screened and found out to have high cholesterol level. How does one interpret the results? A high LDL cholesterol level would mean a high risk factor for heart disease. For people with heart disease or diabetes, LDL should be less than 100 mg per deciliter. For persons with two or more other risk factors, LDL should be less than 130 mg per deciliter, and for individuals with zero or one other risk factor, LDL should be less than 160 mg per deciliter. So what other risk factors are there? A low HDL, good, cholesterol level, hypertension, family history of heart disease, and smoking makes a person prone to developing heart disease as well. Males who are 45 years or older and females beyond 54 years old are also more prone to developing heart problems. Finding out your LDL cholesterol level should not only be your concern. What is more vital is your cholesterol management scheme. It will be the one that will dictate if your numbers are safe or not. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.